So for today, we're going to be doing the Titan Parade set. If you guys don't know, we've already done the review video and the shader video. They're both right here. And then the Hunter specifically, we've already done that one as well. It's right here. Now, I really like the new format that we've done, uh, which essentially just shows the male and the female version of the set because it just showcases the weaknesses and the strengths of both of the genders because there's there's a few things that I like about this set when it's when it's uh, in different genders like specifically I like the first set for the male titans not so much for the females that being said they don't look super super different but there is a difference that I noticed so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that is also something that helps other than that again let me know if you guys like the new format um let me know if there's any other content on that you want to see i have been thinking about making a pretty cool thing where for, for right now i have a comment that asked uh, about how to make a certain set or a certain look for two exotics and i'm thinking about either making it a full video or just making a making it a short either way i like that idea so i'm probably going to start doing that so if you are interested to see something specific like that let me know in the comments below other than that let's get into it so to start off this is the first set we're going to be going from the helmet and below now i actually like this helmet or like i don't like it like it because i, I don't like the grin that it has it just looks kind of off-putting that being said i can definitely see people doing some really cool halloween sets for me i just combine it with the viking sets that i already had in mind so specifically we have the fierce Fu the fear ursa Fu we have the ursa furiosa just the base ornament for the chess piece wolf kiss plate boots is going to be god's bane greaves and then for the mark it's going to be fenrir's bane mark so obviously i'm using multiple pieces that can be interpreted as viking specifically the wolf kiss plate and the god's bane both are viking themed considering the wolf kiss plate is literally from assassin's creed valhalla which is all viking themed and then god's bane greaves is from god of war specifically the second one if i remember correctly which obviously that's based in viking lore and whatnot and then fenrir's bane mark is not from viking themed lore but it's from at least to me uh gallahorn themed and that already makes it more viking themed so i like this set a lot for the shadering battle tempered is what we're using because the fur on the chest piece goes really really close to the fur on the arms which is really really cool i definitely like this one a lot um that being said i don't know if i would stick with the fenrir's bane mark just because it is so much but i also think that makes sense for a viking look so i really like this set for me i like the male version a little bit better just because it's a little bit more bulky and lends itself to look like a berserker like viking dude not saying the females is bad by any means i think it looks really cool and when you see it compared to the males it does look good it's just the fact that like the chest piece for the males just looks a little bit more bulky compared to the females which makes sense which makes the arms look less big if that makes any sense because the titans the proportions are really good for the chest and the arms not so much for the females for these females i think the chest piece is a little bit too small for everything in the arms specifically the pauldrons so let me know what you guys think about this set as for the next day, we're going to be using the arms and this one I ended up going for more of a Gundam look, I guess you would say, considering that we're using the mechanized protector helm with the mechanized protector mark as well. The Moonfang X7 Greaves, because obviously that one's really, really cool. As for the chest piece, we're going to be using the Hollow Fire Heart with the Arcturus engine. Uh, no reason. I, I just thought it would look really cool because the arms are very angular, very pointy and I wanted to use as many pointy bits as I could. That being said, honestly, I would probably switch out the Mechanized Protector Mark for probably the Moon X, the Moon Fang X7 uh, Mark, just because that's a little bit more, not, not edgy, like in the sense of like, oh, edgy hunter, but more like just angular. So I think that one would be better just because the Mechanized Protector Mark is a little bit more bulky than I th imagined now that I'm looking at it and oddly enough the dreaming spectrum the plates on the mark just look a little bit different compared to everything else so i probably just would switch it out for the moonfang x7 mark i think that would be way better or something along the lines that that are sharp but i definitely like my head or my head was going with this one um as for the genders i would probably say the males look really really cool um again i feel like 
I think it's just the proportions, honestly. Like, w the females just look a little bit too small. I know it makes sense. It's just that it's not the same proportion. Like, for me, the arms for the male version just look like f the boots and the arms just have that equalness to it. And I don't see that for the females, even though I'm pretty sure it is. But let me know what you guys think about this set. As for the next set, this is honestly my favorite, pro probably, just because the sheer fact that I combined the Dendrite Shimmer Helm with the with the Doomfang Pauldron so well that it kind of left me uh, shocked a little just because of how cool it looks. And then we're obviously we're going to be using the Parade Chest Piece for the Boots Sunlight Greaves with Thunder's Impact Mark. So I adore this set i think it's really really cool unfortunately i am using an exotic that uh not a lot of people use which is very granted because it's not that great right now but man when i tell you when i made this set i was just shook because i in my head i was like this is probably one of the coolest sets i've made in a while for titans just because there isn't anything that goes out that looks out of place in my opinion i think the chest piece and the boots go really well together i think the arms and the helmet look absolutely amazing the only thing i would switch out is i wish we had a shader that had that doom fang pauldron like sh not sheen but the effect where it's like pink and then purple at the end i'll stick with welded brass just because welded brass does have a really good purple that being said again like i said if we had a doom fang pauldron shader for the horns that would that would be the one i would put on it just because it would look even more amazing as for which gender i like i probably would say the females looks a little bit better just because it I think it's the arms. I think for the Titans, the arms are a little too big for the chest piece. And for the females, I think it's just right. Maybe the chest piece could have been could have been a little bit bigger, but I definitely like the females version a little bit better. That being said, I think both of them look really, really cool. I just I don't know. I think the edge goes to the females for this one. As for the next set, we're gonna be using Severance Enclosure. Now this one is really cool as well. Uh I honestly obviously we're using the boots for this one, but I don't know what I was going for this one. Maybe tactical meets. I think that that I think that's it. Just tactical in, in general because we're using the Wildwood Helm. Uh, we're using the Idol on Pursuing Gauntlets and then the Iron Will Mark, which isn't super tactical, but it does have bags in the side, so I guess that's tactical. But I think it's mainly going to be the Idol on Pursuing Gauntlets and the Wildwood Helm. That being said, I think I would want to stick to more of the boots. Uh, the fashion of that because the the boots give me more of an exoskeleton type thing so i think i should have leaned onto that side a little bit more that being said i always like to show either my my works in progress or my failures just to show you guys that i'm not perfect and also just to show you where my head goes when i when i make sets like this because not everyone is not everyone that i make is going to be a banger and i definitely like this one that being said i would definitely find like rip like make it a little bit better behind the scenes probably go lean into the boots a little bit more so get pieces that have that exoskeleton look so that way it can look really really good and then last but not least we have the second chance exotic for this one and the mark is what we're going to be using from the parade set so helmet desolation diver helm with fenrir's bane plate is such a good combo and then the phoenix strife type o for the boots so for the shader shadow guilt is what we're using as well i definitely like this set a lot i don't use shadow guilt that much but when i do it's with a set that i know is going to be a banger and i definitely like this set a lot that being said i would most likely switch out the mark for the witcher set because the witcher set has just chainmail as a mark and i think that would have been a little bit better just because i need a little bit more chainmail in this set because the only piece you'll see is in the chess piece so I would most likely go with that because I do think the Fenrir Bane's plate goes really well with the second chance gauntlets just because both of them are very regal looking. Um, I, I, I like the helmet. I think the helmet is completely fine. That being said, if you wanted to put in maybe the the uh, Last Wish helmet, I think that would have been cool. Any piece from the Last Wish I think would have been pretty good. I ended up going with the Phoenix Strife Type O because it had a little bit more color in there. Usually I would have used a Devastation Protocol uh, art boots. and. Again, like I said, I think the Phoenix Strife Type O just wins out a little bit more just because it does have that gold in there. The uh, the Devastation Protocol does not have that. It's all just one color, so that's why I did that. 
Um, overall, I, I do like this set for the genders. I think the males look a little bit cooler just because that chest. And honestly, I think it's just because the weight of the chest just looks so big for most of the sets that it looks really good. The main problem with males is just the arms. It's going to be the pauldrons that just look a little too crazy. That being said, the arms for this one doesn't look crazy at all. I think it's completely proportioned well. Um, that being said, again... <laughs> Females also look really, really cool, especially if you're trying to go for more of a slender look. That's going to be the main uh, benefit for the females is the fact that you're going to always look a little bit more slender, which means that the arms, if you're not a fan of big arms, definitely go for the females because the females don't have big arms as bad as the male titans. So that would be just my biggest thing is just make sure you go for the right gender because then your fashion will make or break some some ornaments or just some sets in general like i definitely think some sets from this video would only be good with male or would only look good with females so let me know what you guys think titans i really like a lot of your sets that being said i do think the third set is my favorite one unfortunately it's using an exotic that most people won't give a try just because to be fair it's not anything op it's like one of those it's like it's like that meme where it's it's just honest work or it's, i forget the meme if i remember i'll have it up right now but it's one of those funny memes that just like all in all in a day's work kind of thing, which it's nothing crazy, nothing flashy. I think it's just like your melee, uh, your powered melee just gives you more energy to your super. And then once you have your super, you can throw your shield a little bit more. Other than that, it's nothing too crazy. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see other things, let me know in the comments below. Really, really like this one. Warlocks, don't think you guys got some bad sets just because your parade set is bad. I absolutely love a lot of the sets that i made for you guys i can't wait to share that with you guys so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later